and welcome to Otrouche. My name is Becky and today we are here to talk to you about everything puzzles. Here at Otrouche we have three main brands. We have Heia, Piatnik and Jumbo. So I'll give you a brief overview, a little bit of history about their brands. So our first brand that I'd like to talk to you about is Heia. Uh, Heia is made in Germany and an interesting fact about this company is that all of their artwork is licensed so you won't see these artwork on, in, in any other brand. Uh, they have also a very wide variety, so they have landscapes, paintings, uh, and cartoon. And one of our best sellers right now, and it's quite new, is our Zuzu Vid collection. And they have 1,000 piece puzzles and 500 piece puzzles. Our second company is Piatnik. Piatnik was founded in 1824. They are one of the oldest companies. Uh, they have a lot of new models that have come out actually this year, so it's really fun because they have a lot of variety as well. As you can see, we have uh, the wine ones, um, the Christmas ones, and over here, uh, macaroons. Our third main company is Jumbo. Uh, so Jumbo is mostly known for two of their main lines. The first one is Wazgij, which is actually um, jigsaw backwards. What's fun about these puzzles is you're not actually doing the image that's on them, but you're trying to do what the characters are seeing. So you're trying to build the puzzle of what you think they would see. So they have four categories in this one. They have the originals, the destiny, uh, the Christmas one, which we have also right over here, and the retro one. Then their other popular line is the Jean Van Hastrit, and uh, they also have uh, 2,000 piece puzzles 500 piece puzzles, and 1500 piece puzzles. Now that we've seen a little overview of the puzzles, I'm going to move on to accessories. The first one I would like to show you is the puzzle sorter. This one is very practical for if you want to split your puzzles by colors or by parts of your images that you see. The second one I'd like to show you is the puzzle roll. This one is you sit on your table, you unroll it, then you can work your puzzle on it. Once you're done, it's as simple as rolling it up and putting it away for next time. We have two different models for this one. We have the 5,000 piece to 1,500 piece. And then we have over here the one up to 3,000 piece puzzles. In the same uh, category of porta puzzles, here we have our deluxe one. Uh, this one has a nice little handle and a zipper to uh, make it easy to close and bring on the go. Inside of each of our porta puzzles, we have two pads that make it very easy to put it to the side. You can put your pieces on it and then put it back when you close it. So for this one, we also have a smaller version. This one doesn't have a handle, but it has the same principle. With the two pads inside that you can put. The following one I would like to show you is the one from Heia. So here I put up the 2000 piece one to show a little bit of a bigger size. This one what's fun is the top actually completely comes off so it takes a bit less room on your table and it has again the same principle where you can move this to the side and put your puzzle pieces on it to work on. Hi, this is William from Autriche, and today I'll talk to you about our brain teasers and our puzzler section. We have different collection and different sizes, so we can start with the classic 3x3, and then we go from 2x2 two two to 9x9, nine nine, which is an increase in difficulty and it's more challenging. We also have different images, so we have art emotions, where it's artist's classical painting, to sandwiches, wildlife, the Can all Canadian provinces. We also have the V-Sphere, which is a different twist on the classic Q, where you can move each pieces individually or as an entire row. Our following section is a more retro and classic puzzler and brain teasers. So this is from our house brand, Mind Matters. So we have different displays of wooden and wire puzzles. So there's a more traditional bamboo format or the colorful wooden one and there's the wire puzzles. We also have secret boxes which is a hidden compartment that you have to do intricate moves and it goes from different levels. 
Also, next from our house brand again, this is Cubico, Body Loco, and Trigono, which are all puzzlers and labyrinths. So the first one, Body Loco, is you have to align the balls by color linearly, and they move intricately between each other. And then the next one, Cubico, where it's a cube where you have to put out the different segments to make the ball move from start to finish. Lastly, Trigano is a labyrinth where you move the whole piece in order to complete the puzzle. To go with this, we have our Inside 3 section, which comes from France. It's also a labyrinth, as the Trigano, but you don't see the actual puzzle or the actual labyrinth. It's inside the cube and you have to feel where the ball is and follow the patterns which are on the cube. There's also different difficulties and they come in a display. The first one we're going to talk about is Honeycombs. Honeycombs is an award-winning game and it was created or invented by a family in Ontario. So this game has three different ways to be played. Uh, the first one being uh, you can split all the tiles in two and it is the first one to finish their honeycomb. So how to do a honeycomb is you have to match the images as you can see here. Um, you put the two images together and both sides have to match. So I couldn't use one um, like this because uh, the honey doesn't match with uh, this image here. The second way to play is you split the tiles evenly uh, amongst the players and you try and collectively build your honeycomb. And the third way to play is by splitting them equally as well but then counting the points. Uh, on some of the, the cones we see here um, there's a B, there are multipliers, um, just like this one, two times the points. The following game I'm going to talk about is Chicken Out. Chicken Out is a game to teach children how to count. So it's a little bit the same principle as blackjack in the sense that um, you want to go to 21 and not over. So you split the deck evenly uh, and then you have uh, different cards. Um, the ones in red are if you ever you go over 21 then you bring it down and the ones in black uh, are the ones when you add. Then you have this one here which means that um, no matter where you are in your counting the pile goes straight to 20. You have this evil one here where the pile goes straight to 0. Then you have this one here where you double the amount where you are now. Then you have this one which means that the deck stays equal. So the winner of the game is the one who finishes their deck. So essentially you want to flip one card, your opponent flips one card until you bust 21. So whoever busts 21 has to pick up the deck and so your deck keeps growing. The following game I'm going to talk about is Star Wars and Pythagoras. How you play this game is you roll the dice and the amount that you get on the dice is what you pick in the bag. So how many words you're picking in the bag. Uh, the goal is to build a word map that you just keep adding to and the winner of the game is the one that has the most points. So with this dice, with the different symbol, is how you calculate the different point system. Pythagora is very similar, so you're trying to build a map as well, but this, this time you need equations that make sense. So your equal sign, as long as the numbers that connect to it uh, have the same amount, then it works. Next, I'm going to talk to you about Tic Tac Boom. Tic Tac Boom is a game for words. So the point of this game is you pick a card and uh, with letters. There are some with two letters and some with three letters. And you have to find a word that has um, these letters in it in the same row. So let's say idea, ideology, or anything you can come up with. Uh, the only thing about this game is you're not allowed to say the same word as the next as the person before you. So you click the bomb, and once it starts, um, you pass it around, and people have to say the word. Once the bomb explodes, then whoever has the bomb in their hand loses and has to take the card. At the end of the game, the person with um, the most card is the one that loses. The next game is cross dice. Cross dice is quite similar to um, Star Wars. Essentially, you split the dice in four packs, and uh, to each a turn, you shake it in a cup, you throw it on the um, on the table, and then you place your dice uh, to build your own crossword. And now we're going to move on to the I Learn collection. In the I Learn collection, we have four different ones. The first one is I Learn Music, 
which as you can see here comes with uh, a song and on the piano you have the different um, notes with the different colors and shapes so it's very easy to follow. The following one we have is the I learned French, I learned to read French and here we have it in demo right here. You take the little puzzle pieces and you put them according to their little pattern into the holes so that it fits. In the same um, idea we have the I learned to write French and I learned to count. So the principle is the same where you use the patterns at, that are on your image here and on the back of each little uh, color block here. This is our arts and crafts section. This is our SAS collection and it's based off three age groups. So first there's the for children, young children, so one to four where it's very easy to grab, it's big shapes, and it's colorful, so it's, it's very good for the younger. And then from three to six, it's mostly cutting and building shapes out of foam and Play-Doh. And for older, so six and above, it's beads, and then more color construction. And then we have our corn-based craft, which is made 100% eco and you just dip the corn in the water and you can make easy shapes with colors. So this is our second product line for the arts and craft. This is Creativamente's Creagami where you build animals and insects with the same repeated origami fold. So basically this comes in a pack with high quality paper and you just do this repeated fold all over again and you interconnect the pieces with each other. Now to do these insects, the instruction you follow the QR code that's on the back and there's a step-by-step -step video you can find online. Our following line is our new products, Aquadabra, that comes in two different sets, one with the aquarium and it's more sea theme or our, the classic one. This craft, you just color in the shapes. Once finished, you can put them in water and they'll keep their shape until you take them out. Our final arts and craft is more dedicated to adults and it's much harder, but it's basically uh, we call them Fascination or MMS and Iconics, which are a bigger model. So this comes into this packaging and it's a sheet of metal that is cut and you fold it in pieces and it gives it pops out as one big metal shape. Our Metal Earth collection comes in various licensed products such as Cars, Star Wars theme, the new Game of Thrones series, or Marvels, or some s as simple as plane, cars, various boats, and many more. To start, I'm going to talk about our house brand, Mind Matters. Uh, the first item here is we have the dice tray, uh, then we have here, Shut the Box. To go with our card selection, we also have um, playing card holders and manual card shufflers. On this height here, we have a Mankella game, a Rummy game, and a Domino set. We also have here a travel cribbage board, super small and convenient. And we have a nice chest set. We also have a competitive one that comes with an extra queen. Next up we have Cairo. Cairo we have some nice chess set. This one is um, a wood one which we also have another one that's bigger that has a three in one. Then we have here these very practical travel ones. We have three different size and they're magnetic. So as we can see here, nice little size, super um, easy to use and they hold very well. Um, to finish off, we're going to finish with Pietnik. Pietnik, we have uh, lots of variety of cards. We have 100% plastic, we have 
lots of different models of individual cartoons and funny ones. Also just classic cars and images artwork. Then we also have for games and poker, cribbage and whatnot. And here is a pack of two with different models on it. Please visit our website for all of our games, puzzles and crafts.